So AstraZeneca uh, will show us a pillar for facing new challenge. In these terms, please let me introduce Carlos Perry, director of AstraZeneca Foundation, and Maria Galvez, CEO of uh, Plataforma de Organizaciones de Pacientes. So, Carlos, Maria, thank you very much for being here. Good morning, and the floor is yours. Good morning. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so hello, good morning to all. Uh, thank you very much for coming here today and uh, to being here with us. Uh, we are going to talk about telemedicine and about the importance of digital digitalization of the health system. And uh, for doing that, we cannot have a better, uh, why cannot have a better partner here on the stage uh, that Maria Galvez, she is the, the president of the um, Patients Platform Organization. And I would like to uh, thank in a special way uh, to Maria for being here today with us. Uh, for AstraZeneca Foundation, uh, patients are crucial for us. We work for them. We work for them to improve their life. So to work really close with them to improve uh, the care system model, it's really important. And that's why when we received the invitation, uh, we received the invit uh, we have decided to, to organize this panel um, with Maria. Uh, to give the, the opportunity to the organization that Maria represents to, to share with you uh, the ideas on digitalization because it's really important that when we talk about uh, digital health to take uh, into account what the patients think and what they need. No? It's not only about uh, what the, the system uh, needs or things, it's also about to listen uh, to them to, to improve the system uh, with all the ideas together. So, Maria. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, uh, AstraZeneca Foundation and Barcelona Health Hub for inviting us to be here to share with you our vision about digital health and specifically about uh, telemedicine. Um, let me introduce you my organization. And we are uh, the Spanish patient platform, and it's an umbrella organization which brings together more than 1,500 associations all over Spain. And we together work on three main areas. The first one is to defend the patient's rights. The second one is to, um, to support patients and their families in, in the patient's journey from the diagnosis to all the, the journey of the disease. And the third one that is linked with this uh, project is to, um, to build a better health system, to, um, to contribute to improve uh, the, the healthcare. So um, in this uh, context that we, uh, we are doing, um, we realized that um, we have passed from uh, almost 100% of face-to-face uh, -face consultations to uh, more than 50% of telematic consultations. And we knew, because we, we did a, a study about the impact uh, of the COVID in people with chronic diseases, that both uh, patients and health professionals were unsatisfied with this uh, type of consultations they they don't need they don't have any they didn't have any any guide or everything was like um, um, they had to manage with uh, the tools that they had so we decided to work in in a project that set the the basis to a model telematic model center in the patient's needs and we ask AstraZeneca Foundation to join us. Yeah, and that was my first question, no? uh, which is the main objective, why, we have, why you have been working on this uh, report that you have launched this week, on the 26th, it was the, the presentation. Yeah, we, we realized that we, uh, the, the health professional and the patient had troubles to, um, to use these uh, telematic tools, they, they didn't know how and when and, and 
who uh, have to to use and and we we wanted to uh, give them tools in order to improve this uh, healthcare that patient needs and the second question is how you have been working on this report how you have made this, this report well we uh, have clear that we need all the approaches uh, of course, we have the patient approach, but we also invite the, to participate uh, the health professionals and also the regional communities because we wanted to know about uh, the, the, the approach of the administration. For us, it's, uh, it's important. So we did uh, three. We use a qualitative methodology, and we did three phases. Uh, first, we did a benchmarking between different European countries uh, because we were interested in, um, in how they were implementing telematic model. Then we uh, listen patient and, and health professionals by focus group. And, and finally, we, uh, we launched a questionnaire for uh, regional communities. So with all this information, we were able to, to make proposals. And um, the main conclusions of this report, can you share it with us, please? Yes. Um, so we, um, we have 10 proposals. Um, I, I'm seeing that we don't have uh, enough time. You have 10 <laughs> minutes I, to I explain. Can, <laughs> I can um, uh, share with you five of them. Um, the first one is that we, we need a legal framework. Um, there is a, a need to develop a security and privacy and data protection regulation. We need that this regulation have to be clear. Um, and this is the, the first step. And we are working with the Ministry of Health in the uh, National Digital Health Strategy. And we are working also um, in a... In a quality uh, normative or something also to to set the, the basis and the second one is to establish uh, some criteria for the use uh, as i mentioned before uh, we need to know um, the when and the how and the who uh, telemedicine is not for every patient uh, it's not not only uh, because of the clinical situation but also for the social context and I think this is important. We, we need to know the social context of, of the patient. And, and this is important for, for clinical too. Um, so, and we, in this point also, we have to let patient to, to choose. Because we also always defend that the patient have to be more autonomous. And they know if they need a... Uh, online consultation or maybe they need just a face-to-face -to -face consultation. So some regional communities have settled these uh, kind of uh, opportunities for patients and I think it's, uh, it's the good way. So the third uh, will be the, that we need to reorganize uh, human and technical resources is not only to invest in new technologies but also to define new roles, new professional profiles, um, that can uh, answer the, the, the challenge that we, we are facing now. And the fourth, um, I have five seconds, <laughs> the fourth is uh, to coordinate social and health. This is like, uh, so to, uh, I think we have a, a big opportunity here to um, coordinate um, health and social systems and to integrate all this information to have uh, an holistic view of the patient. Um, one of the colleagues that uh, was here before say, uh, said that, and I think this, this is really important, and, and we have the opportunity now, so we have to do it, and to do it well, and, and to, um, because we, this information will have, will give us the, the opportunity to give the patient the, a better care. And finally, uh, we need uh, to train uh, patients and, and health professionals, not only in technological tools, but also in how to communicate. It's difficult to communicate by telematic tools, and uh, patients and health professionals have to um, have to to know different ways. So, 
<laughs> okay, thank you very much, Maria. And I forgot to say something really important. Thank you to Barcelona Health Hub for organizing this, uh, this conference or this meeting today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Astra.